Good evening and salutations, my Days of Alive fans. <clears throat> okay, so this episode didn't give you a lot, but this is definitely a skippable episode, but there are some interesting things I'll sit there and say for me. Number one, I don't understand. So Friday's episode left you at a cliffhanger. And, you know, Fiona was about to sit there and tell Xander something to, you know, make him stop from beating the living hell out of Brady at this point. And during my live stream or whatever, we were sitting there chatting up or whatever, kind of guessing what it was. And I was sitting there thinking maybe, you know, she's dying with some illness or something like that. And, you know, maybe she, like, just don't do this or whatever. Because I knew she was not going to confess to running over Sarah. I was wondering, what would it be to make him stop from attacking Brady? She says, don't do it because we've been sleeping together. So, the guy is in a rage. He has a baseball bat. He's just about to go in. And you think stopping him you think the best way to sit there and stop him is to say, hey, son, just to let you know, I know that we're kind of connected somewhat, not really, but, um, yeah, I've been banging him. I think we can all sit there and kind of agree that that is a very bad way to try to stop him from attacking him. And that's exactly what was about to happen. He was about to be like, I'm sorry, What? So he really got angry, and I'm just like, oh, okay. You got your work cut out for you. So it almost gets to a point where Xander starts asking, was you drinking with him? Because, you know, he was sniffed to drinking that night. Was you drinking with him? Brady covered for him. Eventually, she's able to sit there and talk him down. Because, hell, even the, even the thought, even the, even the, the idea... When Fiona was like, what about your wife and your child? I'll just hire a good lawyer. This is the type of decision. This is, this is the type of decisions that this dude does. When even, even being presented the most valuable things in life. Ah, screw it. I'll chance it. So when you have Sarah at home worrying about Xander, what he might do. And Maggie's like, yo, you know, listen, you are not responsible for for controlling Xander's emotions. And I'm just no. like, but well, this is the man that you married, right? This 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 is the man that you married. So I'm not trying to I'm not trying to speak bad about people that are Xander and Sarah fans. So whatever they want to sit there and call them. But I don't understand what is it about them that some of y'all find so appealing. Because, see, for me, I sat there, you know, I don't really do couples and stuff like that. But I was like, yo, listen, Gwen is the ride to die chick, okay? Gwen is the type of person that understands that you want to sit there and just take action. She understands what she signed up for. She's not sitting there trying to have her love change him. This is what Sarah does. And maybe on some sort of level, and, and maybe I can kind of guess, is that some women, and I say some before anyone gets all pissy with me, is that they have this idea that they're so great that their love would just transcend them in time and space and just be so much that it would make a, a, a man with such a black heart change his wicked ways. It's a fantasy and soap opera, so we'll allow it, but in reality, that's, that's, that's not the case. But I think that is the appeal of them. You know, it's sort of like Bella and Twilight, the books, not the movie. The book she was kind of described as like maybe a four or five, a five or a six, an average. And, you know, she, she got somebody who's like a ten. 
and that's what appealed to women of that series. And of course, when the, when the show came, when a when a movie came out, it was like, oh, it's played by Kristen, whatever her last name. There's so many Kristens I can't remember. Oh no, she's kind of hot. Yeah, I don't, I don't really, uh, I, I couldn't picture. That's not how I pictured her. I'm like, of course not, because you would picture her looking like you. And I think that's what it is for the Xander and Sarah fans. Um, Steve came to sit there and enjoy his burger because he's so, like, the word for it that I was going to use, and I can't, I can't think of it, but he's bothered by his visit. And he's, he's asking all these questions like, yo, listen, there's something that's off about her. And one of the things he said which was really interesting, was he was like, he caught her talking to the portrait. And she was telling the portrait about her brother, JJ. JJ is not somebody that she remembers. She doesn't remember anyone, you know? Um, and she even said that when, when he started talking. So it was like, why isn't it there talking to a portrait about somebody that you don't even remember? You know, and just other questions. And he wanted her to do another DNA test. Couldn't do it. Why late said Bo would just be wrong. He was like, okay, I'm going to go and see Clyde. Like, I don't think that's a good idea. Okay, hey, Kayla, what's, what's, what's your idea? Because, you know, you're not exactly really contributing to the think tank here. So, what's your idea? Go. Oh, I'm sorry, you don't have any? So that's what he wants to do. And he said he's going to threaten him. He may not do it. So he's not going to do it. But he's going he's to imply the fear factor into it. Now, Fabby, just for the new people, is um, fake Abby. Fabby snitched there talking to Mark, snitched there saying that Steve is going to be a problem because, you know, he's not easily snowed like everyone else is. Um, and I think it's mostly because everyone else wants to believe that she is the real Abby. They want to believe it. And so she's like, I don't know if I'm going to be able to fool him. I'm freaking out. Chad comes in and she comes up with this weak ass excuse about how she wanted to order sushi and she couldn't remember the address and then she couldn't remember the credit card and like just all this other stuff. I was like, and that's something to freak out about. I'm sorry. How many people live in this house that you can just be like, hey, <clears throat> Um, I need some, I want some sushi or whatever. How, how do we make that happen? That was the case that freak out. But again, Chad needs to believe this. Like he needs to believe it. Okay. I can't come up with an analogy. He needs to believe it. And so he brings over this photo album and they're going through pictures. And he's all like, oh, I remember our vows. Now. No, these vows was nice. They were a bit over the top. Okay? They were a bit over the top. But they were over the top for a reason. He paused a lot for a reason. There, there's two reasons to, to that. But, like, it was over the top because it made her feel really guilty about what she's doing. It was a point she was going to call somebody or, or she was like, I can't do this. I can't go through with this. And I can't, you know, there's one point she's like, oh, you know, um, take care of our little girl or whatever. And it, for me, it was just so out of pocket because it was like, she knew that, like, she done, she done hit a new low in her life. Um, you know, she's crying and everything like that. And, and it's not because it was so moving, not just because it was so moving, but because she just feels the inc incredible guilt. Two, this episode was 39 minutes long. Way too long in my opinion. Okay? When I went to work, I went there early to sit there and try to make sure I had enough time to watch this. I sat there with like 39 goddamn minutes. I remember one episode, I think it was either 32 minutes or 28 minutes. I was like, that was perfect. I haven't seen that number come up again since... Since it first, um, since the app first came out. But of course, she gets a text from Clyde, and it's just saying, Wait, I'm sorry, you're not married to him yet? 
<laughs> what, what, what are you doing? What, what are you waiting for? I mean, you know what's going to want to happen, right? Can we all just sit there and have a collective laugh at this situation? Okay? God is in maximum whatever. No visitors, no nothing. And yet, he has all this power. <coughs> all this power from damn near Supermax, I guess they're what they're saying. I know it's a soap opera, and I'm going to let it fly. I'm mostly going to let it fly. <coughs> because the other villain that we have is not just a letdown, it's just pathetic. It is absolutely pathetic. Listen, no one's going to say that these villains are supposed to hold a candle to the great Stefano from what I heard. Okay? It's like Helena on General Hospital, okay? We're not going to ask for another Helena. But, like, I mean, we can do better than now, right? So we can damn sure do better than Connie. But I'm going to let it fly. Because, you know, we got to sit there and deal with Connie for hopefully one more week. Um... Stephanie was upset because, you know, Everett died. And, you know, I, I'm just like, I was sitting there thinking about the stuff I was going to say when I did this review, and I was like, I just kept sitting there thinking about it. I was like, don't be a dick. Don't be a dick. Don't be a dick. But I'm also just like, they didn't bother to put any effort into it to, to this character. So why the hell should I? Like, seriously, why the hell should I sit there and bother to put any effort into what I think about this character? They ain't do it. Um, yeah, I just, I just didn't care. I just really did not care about her crying. It was like, she was talking about she was in love with this guy, and it's like, mm-hmm, yep. Yep. In my head, I'm sitting there thinking, like, should I get another donut? I'm getting kind of hungry again. Oh, I'm about to start working again. That's what's going on in my mind when I'm sitting there watching this scene with, with her and Alex. But then he starts sitting there giving all these compliments. She starts making out with him. He stops it and he's like, I, I first of all, he was like, I, I'm still not over Teresa. I was like, well, that just kind of killed my damn appetite. <laughs> And he's also, you know, like, he doesn't want to ruin their friendship, so they decide to start eating, and, you know, they're watching Ted on Peacock. And I'm just like, ah, oh, I, I, I see what you did there. And she's like, oh, I'm so glad that I subscribed to Peacock. I was like, are you glad that you, um, you cool with that price hike? Cool with that? Yeah, you're not, yeah, not going to talk about that now, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, okay, sure. Um... Yeah, they just sit there and watch Ted, and, um, which I still didn't see Ted, too. I don't know. I saw the first one on a date, so it's like, I don't know if I'm really interested in watching two and then the show. Plus, I have a whole thing about watching prequels, so I'm just... Anyway, let's see what else. I think that's pretty much about it. Oh, um, Sarah also talked about the, you know, she couldn't remember anything, and eventually, um, Santa got back, and they were talking for a little bit, nothing too important, um, and of course, Fiona was like, well, you know, this is the last time I'm going to have to sit down and see you, and, you know, she said it like they had something that was, like, super special or something. So, um, I feel like that's about it. I can't think of anything else, but if I forget anything you know what to do, write it down in the comment section below. Let me know what your thoughts are. Um, I'm going to sit there and try to shoot for this live stream tonight. So, just check the community tab. It's like 455, and I have like two more reviews to do. And I am going to get those done. <laughs> I am going to get those done. But, um, anyway, check the community tab. Most likely, I'm I'm, I'm, I'm going to be doing a live stream, maybe like 8.15 or whatever, but um, come to the live stream tonight, 8 p.m. Eastern, 5 p.m. Pacific, we'll sit there and talk about all the shows, during our hospital days of our lives, born and beautiful, young and restless, with that being said, I'm going to go, I'll see you in the next video.